Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Mass key skill video on calculating probabilities using a Venn diagram. Let's read the problem. 90 pupils in a sports centre surveyed, the pupils can only use the swimming pool and gym. 42 pupils use the swimming pool, 40 pupils use the gym, 19 pupils use neither the swimming pool nor the gym. Find the probability of selecting a pupil that uses the swimming pool but not the gym. Now we're just going to combine skills that we've already done in previous videos. We're going to use our knowledge of Venn diagrams and use our knowledge of probability and combine them together. So let's draw a Venn diagram for this kind of information. And the reason we know to use a Venn diagram is because we're combining different groups of people. We've got people that use a swimming pool, use a gym, or both or neither. When we combine things in that way, where people can do both or neither, that's when we use a Venn diagram. And because we've got two things, swimming pool and gym, we're gonna have two circles which overlap. So we've got swimming pool and gym. Now let's see what we're told. We've got 90 students in total. We're told that 19 people use neither. Now this one is quite hard because we're not given like how many students were in the middle who used both. But we do know that if 19 students didn't use either, the number of students who use either the swimming pool or the gym, if I just write it up here, is just 90 minus 19. So who used either was 90 minus 19 and that's 71. So 71 students used either. Now the clever way to do this is if we add these two groups of people, the people who use the swimming pool or the gym, so 42 plus 40 is equal to 82, that's going to include that overlap twice. So we've got 82 students in total there but we've double counted the people in the middle. If we do 82 minus the 71 that gives you 11. So it must be that 11 students used both. So just to repeat that calculation, if you do the 42 plus the 40, but you subtract what we know is in either, that gives us 11, and that gives you what's in the overlap of the two. So that's quite an advanced technique here. So this is quite a hard question. They're usually a bit easier than this. Now we want the people who use a swimming pool but not the gym. So it's these people here who use the swimming pool but are not in this gym circle. Now in total there's 42 people who use the swimming pool. So the total of the numbers in the swimming circle is 42. If we do 42 minus 11 people here that gives you 31. So that's 31 people who use the swimming pool but not the gym. That's the, what we're interested in here. So to get that probability then we just do the number of people that use the swimming pool but not the gym, 31, out of the total number of people. So out of the 90 people, 31 people use the swimming pool but not the gym, and that's the final answer.